all in one long. In this video, I'm going to talk about the sequence of changes in the iron deficiency anemia. Means, what are the changes? Which is the first change that you see, you observe in a patient with iron deficiency? And how, what is the next change? Because this will help you to know whether because uh, in your civil examination they will give you only the initial changes that happens in uh, what you call that take place in iron deficiency anemia right so just you need to know uh, what are the sequence of changes that take place during uh, iron deficiency anemia okay and deficiency anemia so let's talk about this as you know the iron stores in the body that is hemosiderin hemosiderin in the liver and the bone marrow are diminished the liver and the bone marrow when they are diminished the first initial change that take place the first initial this is really very important is the fall in the levels of serum ferritin serum ferritin levels so this serum ferritin level is the first initial uh, to what you call the changes that you see in a uh, iron deficiency anemia it falls uh, what you call to less than 10 nanogram per ml okay so after this the next change the next change after this is gonna be decrease in the what you call T I B C capacity. There is a transfer in saturation. T I B C capacity. Okay. So remember the transfer in saturation in it, it falls. Right? The first initial change is the serum ferritin, and second is the T I B C capacity saturation. There is a Transfer in saturation. Remember, transfer in saturation. That's really very important. And followed by next is this is the first we can call. This is the second change. And the third change after this, as the iron deficiency is still there, the, 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 then the patient will have what you call increase in the any idea? Increase in the erythrocyte protoporphyrin. erythrocyte protoporphyrin okay right guys so so there is increase in erythrocyte protoporphyrin if still there is a iron deficiency anemia if the still the patient has a iron deficiency anemia then the next change will be the hemoglobin level will go down okay and if still the patient has iron deficiency anemia then the mch level is lowered okay if still then it's a mcv right guys and if still there then you see what you call microcytic hypochromic anemia so the first initial change is what the decrease in the serum ferritin level the second is what you call decrease in the transfer in saturation um, third one is increase in erythrocyte protoporphyrin then there will be decrease in the hemoglobin then decrease in the MCH, then MCV, and the picture what you see on a 
blood smear is microcytic hypochromic anemia right guys so this is how it take place okay so i hope because in usml examination they might give you the case history of uh, uh, iron deficiency okay and but in lab findings they give only what you call lower serum ferritin level okay so ask you about the what is the diagnosis or either they can give you the what you call the initial changes of the iron deficiency and ask you the diagnosis again right so try to know about this this is really very important thank you so much for watching this video take care